13 Women, 1932. Directed by George Arkenbod. Starring Irene Dunn, Myrna Loy, and Ricardo Cortez. A group of women gradually succumb to the deadly influences of a killer psychic who seems unstoppable in spite of the best efforts of the police. Can she be thwarted before the rest of her deadly horoscopes come true? Although Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho is lauded by many to be the first slasher film, many consider this film the first slasher film that was ever released. In spite of being called 13 women, only 11 appear in this film. Research revealed that two characters were left on the cutting room floor for various reasons. I'll admit that I had a bit of a hard time differentiating between the 11 different women in this film, though this actually might have been an artistic choice as they represent members of a nebulous aristocratic sorority in the film. Myrna Loy's performance as a lethal psychic, however, is a completely different story. She actually chews a fair bit of scenery as a cold and vengeful killer that orchestrates a fairly compelling series of murders the police struggle to thwart. What's interesting is the killer is introduced in the beginning of the film, removing the mystery those sorts of roles normally occupy in the narrative. Within the first 18 minutes, we learn what her motives are, and we actually see the events set in motion in near real time. What drives the killer is the mistreatment she received as a non-white woman in 1930s America, which is shockingly progressive. Unfortunately, this half-Indonesian character is being played by a white actress. Sort of takes the wind out of those sails. Now, there's no gratuitous deaths in this film, but that doesn't stop it from being an extremely suspenseful watch. In one brilliantly unnerving scene, we actually see one of the women succumb to the killer's psychic influence as she commits suicide in a train car after being visited by her and initially laughing off her deadly horoscope. Prolific composer Max Steiner wrote the score, boosting the emotional impact of the film considerably during the first half of the film. Oddly, his score disappears during the second half. Verdict? Recommended. I see, in your future, a horoscope worth checking out. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.